in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a basic drop down menu in Dreamweaver uh, using this spry feature. So uh, to start with what I have is a blank HTML page which I've already saved as navbar.html. Now uh, you do need to have this saved before we do any spry work. And the, uh, to insert it, just go to the insert menu and at the top you'll probably be under common. If you slide across to spry click on that you'll get a whole new bunch of things you can uh, play around with. The one we want is directly below the word spry. Um, if you hover over it, spry menu bar. So when you click on that you have two options. One a horizontal menu bar so it goes across the page uh, and it has menus that drop down or a vertical which goes down the page with a fly out menu that comes out to the side. I'm just going to do a basic horizontal menu with drop downs. So click the one you want then click OK and this will appear. So here's our basic sprite menu bar. Um, comes default with four items. The formatting is pretty basic but if you come over to the right hand side you'll probably find you've got um, this CSS over here. You can play around with all those styles um, and format the way this menu looks. Now that's a fairly lengthy process so I'll leave you to have a bit of a play with the, uh, the style sheet there. The, um, the menu itself though, if you come down, it should be selected by default. If not, just click on that blue tab at the top of it. If you come down to the properties, you'll see your different items. Now item 1 um, has three sub-menus. Now I could call this, say, my menu. So all I have to do is rename the text and it automatically renames it there. Um, if I go to item 1.1, I could maybe say appetizers, I could do mains and desserts, say, just to make it really authentic. And, um, you know, it says I do this, if you have a look, as you work, it's updating it here in the design view, so Dreamweaver is actually showing you what's happening in your drop downs. Um, you can easily link as well, just by uh, either typing the link in here or clicking on the folder and navigating to the page you want to load to, which is quite useful. Um, and also, you don't actually have to have all these menus. So like, for example, item 2 there, maybe I don't need, I can just click on the minus sign and remove it. Um, item 3, similarly, I can just click on minus. Dreamweaver asks if I want to get rid of all its sub-menus too, which I'll say OK. So now I've got just two simple items. I'll just rename item 4, something like home. So now I've got two menu items, and up the top here, menu and home. So you can actually um, change the size of your menu. You also down here, back down in properties, you could click on plus and add a new one. So you can, in, up in design view, that's appeared. So you can do that. You can also, if I down here, click on the up arrow, I can move the items around. So it probably makes sense to have home as my first one then menu, then untitled item, come up to the top in my design view, home, menu, untitled item. So you can quite easily move the content around. Uh, another thing that's quite important for you though is to go into the code view and see how this has been done. So when I come in here, you'll see that the whole menu is a list, an unordered list in fact. And Dreamweaver is just using CSS to format it. So there is our ID in class. So that's actually what is formatting the appearance of our list. Now each menu item appears as a list item. So here's our first one, home. And you can see there it appears within the li or list item tags. And there's the text, home. Um, similarly for menu, li and menu. Now this one's a bit different because it has a submenu. So this list item actually starts on line 13 but does not actually end until line 19. Between those two we have a nested list right there. Now that is your drop down menu. So you can see another list eat with list items, appetizers, mains and desserts. So the way Dreamweaver does it is it has the list is a menu and each item on it is a li tag. So that's going to be very useful when it comes to creating dynamic drop-downs with uh, loops in PHP. So it's quite important you understand how that works. Right, back to design view, so there you go. Um, I'll just save this and test it to show you how it works. So 
when I save it, it will ask if I want to copy these dependent files. Now these are the, um, the little image there for the um, arrow pointing down. It's the CSS formatting it, the JavaScript that runs it. I'll just click OK. I do want to do that. And if I just refresh my files menu over here, you can see I now have a Sprite Assets folder along with all that stuff. So Dreamweaver is managing all that for you. It's really quite simple. Um, I'll just test this, F12. And uh, here's my menu. There's my drop down. And again, the formatting is fairly uh, basic, but you can uh, play around in CSS and try and master that. So that is how you create a drop down menu using Spry in Dreamweaver.